Hiya, Harry here from Quality Assured Cars in Bristol. Just doing a quick video on our Volkswagen Golf 2015. The way the video works, first do a quick 360 of the car to give you an idea of what condition the car is in and obviously what spec the car comes with, such as its alloy wheels and parking sensors. After I've completed the 360, I'll then do close-ups of each individual panel, pointing out any defects the car may have, such as any scratches, dents, stone chips, etc, etc. Obviously the purpose of the video is to give you an idea of what condition the car is in before you make your way down here to come and view test drive the car, so it's just avoiding wasting anyone's time so we're all on the same page. Okay, so that's the 360 done. We'll now start with the close-ups, starting with the front right wheel arch. As you can see, really, really nice condition. Nothing much to show on that one. Alloy wheel, also in really nice condition. Looking at the windscreen for any stone chips or dent, or stone chips or cracks or anything at all. Nothing that I can see this size. Looking down the bonnet, it's hard to see with the sunshine. Nothing that I can see. Just make sure there's no stone chips on the bottom ridge. Nope, nothing at all. Looking at the bottom part of the bumper now, the parking sensors and the fog lights up. All looks quite tidy to me. Yep, really nice. Front wheel large passenger size. Some slight markings on the paint, but nothing too serious. A couple of scratches down the bottom by here. Alloy wheel, also in really nice condition. A little bit of a mark on the wing mirror, but the glass is intact. Passenger door on the front. Again, there's some light, light marks across the paint. And you can't feel them, they're just light, light markings. A little bit of a chip by there, park, car park or something. Rear door, rear passenger door, again just little chips. And again by here, a little mark by there. And that's been it. Rear wheel arch on the passenger side. Little mark for there. It's also caused a little bit of a dimple dent. Don't know if the camera's picking the dents up a little bit. Maybe. And another little dimple dent by there. It just catches in the sunshine. And again, just some light marks on the paintwork. But nothing too extreme. Looking at the alloy wheel couple of little scuffs around the outside but that's about it nothing on the actual face of the wheel walking around the rear of the vehicle glass is intact boot lids small mark that's about it looking at the bottom bumper it's a little bit tatty on the uh, boot seal lip if you can see what I mean, just a little, little bit of marks on there, but I've seen a lot worse. Nothing too extreme on the rear. The rear wheel arch back on the driver's side now. Nice and tidy. Alloy wheel, again, nice and tidy. Driver's door. the 
other side quickly. It's got the aluminium trim on the inside as well. Really nice. Could do them with a Hoover. Obviously, I got my shoes in earlier. I'm trying to move it for the video. The seats are nice. No wheels here at all. No rips in the carpets. That's a matte action as well. Look under the carpet. Yep, nice and tidy. No rips. Let's look in the rear. Again, nice and tidy. No wear whatsoever. And the boot. A spacious boot with the parcel shelf. A lot of parcel shelves go missing these days. For some reason, we just don't receive many of them with the cars. Rear seats again on the passenger side. It's got your eyes fixed points. Passenger side fronts. It. So I think I'll leave the video there now. All in all, nice tidy car. Uh, nothing too serious on it at all, apart from obviously the little ones that I pointed out in the video. Uh, I'll send this over now and then obviously if you've got any further questions or inquiries, uh, just give us a call and uh, I'll be happy to help. Hope we speak to you soon. Cheers, bye.